What in the world is Funko doing? So with New York Comic Con coming up next week, we all know about these new Funko QR code stickers that they're putting on their pops so you can authenticate your product. In theory, sounds like a great idea. I was a big proponent of this when they announced them. I loved it. I loved their holographic. I just love everything about it. But today, we got a little sneak peek of exactly what they're doing with these, and they definitely dropped the ball. I don't know how this slipped through the cracks. I don't know what they were thinking. Hopefully, they can fix it, but definitely not a great idea. So a shared sticker pop showed up early on Target shelves. Someone picked it up, and we were able to scan the QR code on the pop. Now, the sticker does look good. The hologram does look good. It will be a much harder sticker to fake. So that is good. This is preventing these fake Etsy stickers from being produced at mass uh, for super cheap, where people can just go on Etsy, buy them, stick them on pops, and they'll pass off as real. Great. However, when you scan this QR code, it does not give you any information about the pop that the sticker is on. And why is this a big deal? Sticker swapping. That is still a big problem in the Funko community. People take a sticker from a convention pop that is cheaper take it off and put it on a convention pop that is more expensive. People do this, people get fooled by this, they think they're getting an actual convention pop when they're getting the shared pop, and they will, you know, pay an exorbitant amount for this pop because of that reason. Now, when you scan this QR code, it should tell you what pop you're getting. So now, you can't sticker swap. However, when you scan it, all you get is this little questionnaire that says, what's the number on your pop? Can you verify it? You put it in and it says, congratulations, this is an authentic Funko product. Doesn't tell you what the pop is, nothing. Just tells you that it's an authentic Funko product. Now, I like that. I like that it tells you that it's an authentic sticker, it's an authentic product. However, it does not tell you that it is the exact pop that you are buying. That is a huge mistake. Funko needs to fix this because sticker swapping is still a problem just as much as fake stickers are a problem. I, I hope this is an easy fix. It should be an easy fix. They should be able to just match the QR code to a, a screenshot of the pop, the name of the pop, anything. Just give me something that tells me when I scan this QR code, this is the pop I'm buying. Not that it's just an authentic Funko product, but that it, this is the exact pop that I'm buying. That would solve 99% of these sticker problems in the community. So please, Funko, please fix this. So what do you guys think about these new New York Comic Con QR code stickers? Do you like them? Do you like the look of them? Do you hate them? Do you like the idea of them? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you enjoy the channel and don't want to miss any future content, hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. That would really mean the world to me if we can get to that milestone. So again, hit that like and subscribe button. And next week, I will be out at New York Comic Con. So anyone that's there, if you do run into me, don't be shy. Come say hi. I'd love to meet some of you guys out at a convention. But again, don't forget to let me know everything you think about these new stickers in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching.